You're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. Well, for the first time in four years, I'm going to a race event. The Utopian Buddies have been going anywhere and everywhere in terms of races. Like, if you've seen the vlogs of Danny B. Talks at the Bristol Dirt event, and JC1424, and Kamikaze Games and their meetup at CODA, as well as a bunch of other Utopian Buddies at CODA, <laughs> going to races in 2021 is the it thing. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to go to a race too. And I knew just the one. You see, my buddy Alex has been hyping up an event that he is going to attend on May 29th. And he also told me a couple days ago that a friend of ours named Caitlin was also going to be there. So I have the idea to go to this event as well and surprise them. Now you may be wondering where I'm going. Well, if you know May 29th, that was the day of the Xfinity Charlotte race. It's not that one. It's not the Charlotte Norris Speedway. It's not even in the state of Virginia. That's right, I'm venturing in the new territory. You see, <laughs> the event I'm going to is at a very famous short track known as Berlin Raceway. So, I'm gonna head out to that particular track and surprise my friends and hopefully make even more friends, and have a nice adventure of my own. Oh, and somebody else is gonna be there. So, yeah, for the first time ever, I am going to a race without my dad, or anyone else for that matter, because Mew Mew's not coming to this event. He's got a Duel Monsters unboxing he's going to with his friends. Okay. In addition to that, this is my first time going to a racetrack not in the state of Virginia. That's a long story in itself. And I got a couple things that I'm going to bring with me because of this particular adventure. Got my sand, uh, suntan lotion over here. Uh, umbrella in case it gets too hot for me. And a jacket just in case it gets too cold for me. I got all the bases covered and then some. And as you can also tell, I also brought markers and sharpies in case it's needed for anybody. Which, if there is an autograph session of any point, they should have them. But just in case, you can't be overly prepared. So, I'm going to have some fun. <laughs> I'm going to a race for the first time in four years, and it's going to be a Berlin Raceway. I intend to surprise my friends, and there's going to be a lot more action. Hopefully I get to make a lot of new friends. Let's do this. Okay, so we're on 696 right now, headed towards uh, Berlin Raceway, and, uh, of course, traffic! I don't know what the freak is always going on, but, um, hmm. Well, it's a good thing I left earlier than I had originally uh, planned on. Because this may take a while. I hope this does not screw over my trip. So, um, yay! I'll see you guys in a couple seconds for the next update. Okay, so the GPS told me that it's a nine minute wait where I'm at right now because of crashes. And yet it proceeds to still tell me that I'm still on the fastest route. Nine minute wait for crashes, and it's still the fastest route. Explain that one to me! How does that make a lick of sense? Ah. Well, we're getting into the shade now for a couple minutes, so that's cool. So, uh, see you guys at the next update! Well, this is unexpected. Not only... <laughs> Did I not have to make a pit stop the entire time between the apartment and here? But the person I intended to surprise found me! <laughs> no, I noticed the hat. That's how I figured it out. <laughs> You're finally going to meet him. Yes, I am. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Oh, that's one way to put it. It has been 20 years since I started rooting for him. Oh, yeah. If you can get these signed, save me a lot of time. Excellent! <laughs>
Here it is. You can see it in person. Yeah. <laughs> How far is the drive? Um. Well, it was two and a half hours. So maybe like a uh, hundred and seventy something miles. We're only ninety, so. Yeah, that's we only cool. Drove from about right here to right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, I also got an item of mine I want Johnny to sign for me. Did you, oh, did you bring that picture? Yes, I did. <laughs> I just gotta find out where his holler is. Yeah, I was told there was gonna be a uh, autograph thing at 5.15, yeah. so. Oh, shoot. What? Parker. Oh, I got a couple in my okay. bag. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's it for that part. <laughs> because I want to see this a minute. I don't remember. Johnny Benson. Oh, that, no. <laughs> <laughs> this man has helped put pastimes on the on the map. I don't know, know about that. You do that. <laughs> but, uh, I want to first thank you on video for all the help that you've given us and for doing pastimes. It's an honor, sir. <laughs> it's truly an honor. Well, if you look right yep. now, there goes your guy. There he is. Yep. He had himself. Yeah. We're gonna get. Come on, let's go walk. All right, let's Works for me. How do you think Carson did last night? Yeah. Very nice. 
probably the youngest member of that club. Could be. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fan page that I'm a part of, and these guys are all part of that page too. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. This is Frank, Frank Giesler, Hi. and Brad Baker. Hi! Nice to meet you! She's vlogging. I like your shirt, Brad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we are the past time podcast. So like yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What was I see what you said out of there that you never got rid of any of his players? He, no, he did not. say that. He only gave away to charity. Uh, That's so true. You bought that through a charity? eBay. I bought this on eBay. So I guess. Ah. Okay. This is the one. This is the hoodie flipped. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's that. <laughs> I texted Mary and I said, yeah. NASCAR, please disqualify Nemechek, just so we can get some love up here again. Yeah, Yeah, a lot of people thought he should have been because of the damage to the roof of his truck yeah, after the solder and Hutchin wreck. Well, the, um, yeah. the uh, roof cam caved in. Yes. Yeah, the problem with that is that they didn't disqualify Michael Waltrip after 2011 Daytona when half the spoiler was down. Well, they weren't going to disqualify Nemechek. They should have disqualified my, uh, Michael McDowell for what happened at uh, Daytona this year. I'm, I was kind of pissed. That's kind of that. different. Oh, what is this? Oh, these are these are street stacks <laughs> with ladies coming out of them. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Did you tell us my first time here? Oh, that's a nice looking car. They said they're going to move the autograph session to 545. 545? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to a couple more beers on the parking lot, man. Really? Like, Apparently, I just heard the security guard say something. Eh, that's okay. We still got plenty of time. Well, I can't drink beer. And I, I don't just, drink period anyway. I just finished three high school. years yet, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just finished high school. I didn't know you were that young. <laughs> yeah, I, I finished high school on Tuesday. Congratulations. Thank you. You're now getting to the hardest part of your life. <laughs> That's true. Beware of that. Paid for all your crap. Yep. Okay, now we're doing a track walk thing. Oh, here comes another guy coming out here. Yeah. <laughs> That's him. 
There's so much history on this ground, people. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> Like my tenth grade history teacher up there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I wanna do this first because he's gonna be there a while. <laughs> Hi Barb. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Greetings! This is Mary. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mary. Nice to meet you. It's so, I'm glad I finally get to meet you. Right, in person. Yeah. <laughs> Except talk on Facebook. You're right. Did you read my article that I wrote? I did. <laughs> What'd you think of it? I thought it was nice. Yeah, I, I put, I'm playing this. This is the car he's racing tonight. You know, I, you know, do you know that I actually, <laughs> I just spent high school. He steered right at us. On Friday. Oh, wonderful. Uh, I told Caitlin about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna bombard. We're, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that to him. <laughs> he said it right for us. Hey, Johnny. Hello. Alice. You remember Mary? Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> not too. <laughs> hey, can we get a picture together? The three of us? All right, you go first. That's actually not a bad idea. Have all three of us. We'll get Am I back back too? Did. Now you're taking, now you're filming me meeting him. All right. This is Mary about to meet her hero. I can't see shit. There he is. See him? Yeah. There's my autograph. <laughs> There's Frank getting his stuff signed. Yeah. Hi, Caitlin. Hi. <laughs> What's that? Bring back memories. <laughs> the rest of that is in Ernie's pond. Real <laughs> deal, or one of the one of his other cars or whatever. Thank you. Yep. Hey Johnny, can you say something for the vlog? <laughs> you can just say hello. <laughs> I say hi too. Yeah. Yes, it is recording. Excellent. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Caitlin, I told you look for the Lycos merch. <laughs> hey, good luck tonight, Johnny. Oh, I'm not going to interfere in anyone else's thing. What'd you think of Carson's run last night? I haven't seen it. Second. Oh, now I know. Well, I did tape it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Hello. All right, I want to get this on the vlog here. <laughs> All right, I'll hold that for you. <laughs> Tell me why it turns on. <laughs> this is the worst camera I've ever seen. I didn't know I'd be this, this much taller than you. <laughs> All right, we're standing by the car itself with Mary. Hi. And look who else decided to make an appearance. <laughs> hi. Hi, Griffin. Say hi. Hello. He doesn't want to say much. No. Now he's anyway, kind of shy. Um, it's okay. How are things going? Good. Does the, uh, does the, I don't know what I should say because I'm tired and I didn't get much sleep last night. <laughs> I, I, the only reason I, I was on episode 24 with that much energy was because I I actually had a whole thing about Dr. Pepper. Anyway, we're going to be discussing some work stuff, so peace out. <laughs> anyway, um... Alright. Hey, it's our friend from earlier. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot your product. I got that. Oh. Do you want me to mail it to you? Oh, dude. How are you, you doing? Just text me your address. I'll sign it. So too. fun. Yeah. No, Mary, I do not have any signed cards with me. How is Michaela doing? Good, I think. Hey! 
Barb, I told Caitlin this. I want to tell you. I got that same car too. A NASCAR race on Fresh Cement. Came up on a stuck car race. The only thing left. I made that joke up, just so you know. I should tell Johnny. <laughs> yeah, the only thing left to do is to get a picture. Yeah, this car, this is the same car Kenny Wallace raced a couple yes. weeks ago. Hey Johnny, no pressure, but this is the same car Kenny Wallace finished second with. <laughs> So, he drove the 36th car. True. <laughs> You're the man, Johnny. <laughs> you finally, you've lived a dream. Yes, I did. Two dreams in one day. Wait, two dr dreams within how long is it? Two been? months. Two months. <laughs> I know. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. No, that's me. <laughs> that's a joke. Yeah, I know what the reference is. <laughs> you don't forget a line like that. Yeah, well, well he, he's my hero, so. Yeah. Did I tell you how my roommate found out about this? About this or about the interview? No, about. About Johnny being here, because I did not tell him that How? he was going to be here. Wait, Twitter? No. Well, that's part of it. <laughs> so, what happened was, is I told him I was coming here to surprise you, right? Yeah. So, the previous Sunday after the Coda Cup race, he comes to me because he had concerns about my car because it's over 200,000 miles. Oh, shit. And he says that I should have my car, make sure it's all right, so I could, quote, meet my man. <laughs> I'm going, what the frick is Ori's he talking about? They should get Barb in the vlog, too. <laughs> and within five seconds, I realized he knew. So I did a cute smile to let him know that I knew that he knew. We got to tell Barb about what happened on uh, past times. <laughs> oh, so no. we interviewed Johnny on past times, as you probably know, our, our podcast. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Mary asks him, uh -oh. uh, I doubt you're into Yu-Gi-Oh, since she's in. I doubt you're My into interests. Pokemon. I doubt you're into pro wrestling, and I doubt you're. But everyone has their favorite game show. She asked him what his favorite game show is. But then, I had no idea he was into cooking shows. Yes, he my, is a very good cook. So yeah. my dad is too. I told you my grandpa used to work with <laughs> Debbie. Right, right. But at, but you know down Benton Harbor because uh -huh. I'm from St. Joe. But anyway, that's not his point. So. Mary asked if he knows anything about Pokemon. He, when John, I said Pokemon in the question, he does that cute chuckle laugh he does, right? So yeah, I thought, okay. Pokemon. Yeah. I did not so get I had, from Caitlin. So I had that as a follow-up says, do you know anything about Pokemon? He, goes, not he a did clue. not. And he follows that up with... Well, I know about that little squish ball thing. <laughs> Pikachu is an electric mouse, not a squish ball. But I'm never going to forget that as long as I live. Where? I saw you laughing when I brought up Pokemon. Do you have any knowledge of Pokemon? I haven't a clue. I know there's this <laughs> little little yellow squish ball thing. Or <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> and I doubt your kids were into Pokemon too. I do. I do not I get do. the Pokemon vibe from Caitlin. <laughs> no. I didn't grow up in the in the era where you got to play with a lot of that stuff. I got to play with the the real stuff with the welders. And, yeah. <laughs> I had a her bike, so that was that was fun, and, and uh, that was it. I'm gonna go say hi to Michaela. Michaela's here. Yeah. Uh, sure. Is this Michaela? Yes. Hi. 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 Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> She's one of our coworkers. <laughs> we started a company. It's a journalism company. Oh, yeah. We, we like, I told you about we're it. We're a business company. I told you about it. You told me. Probably. I am the owner. Her. I'm saying <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, it's nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Nice. To, look who I found, Barb. Thank you. No. Let me sit here. I can sign one of those for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Barb, I didn't want it. I just wanted to look at it. You could have just asked for mine, Caitlin. <laughs> so, um, 
I don't know if you, you, you're not in the group chat on Facebook, but I told her about this. So on our podcast, I'll have Mary tell you instead. What do you want me to tell her? Squish ball. Don't. About, <laughs> no. But the funny part about this. Sh- okay, well, let's <laughs> no. fill Michaela in. Okay, so we did an interview with him, a video call, right? So one of the questions I asked, I decided to tie in all my interests that is on my video intro. So I basically asked him, I know you're not into Duel Monsters, I know you're not into wrestling, I doubt you're into Pokemon, but everyone has a favorite game show. So, what's your favorite game show? He says he's in the cooking shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had no idea he was in the cooking shows. You would, His you answer would, for the record was Guy's Grocery Games, which, okay, No, it was uh, Beat it. Bobby Flay. That's not a game show. Yes, it is. I never heard of it. <laughs> it's kind of a game show. I mean, there's prizes involved in uh, okay. stuff. I'm trying to watch my language around him. But he doesn't talk. And he's kind of ear covering, so it's fine. But when I said Pokemon, he does that cute chuckle laugh that he does. Good fist, buddy. Hey. So I followed up and says, I noticed you were laughing when I said Pokemon. Do you know anything about Pokemon? He didn't have a clue. To the point, he said that he knows about the little yellow squish ball <laughs> well, thing. Let's go see that. If Pikachu's an electric mouse, he said squish ball, I just start laughing. <laughs> Wait, could... yeah, that won't work. Hey. <laughs> Hold up. All right. Maybe you could just. We might, we might go get food. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> you could just like strap, like do how you get in the car. <laughs> She's hiding from you. Get food with She's hiding from you, Johnny. Get along, guy. How far? How, how far are you from here? Hour and a half. We're an hour and a half too. But mine was hour. Mine's longer. I was two and a half hours. Where are you originally from? Actually, two and a. Which part? Charlotte. Okay. We live here. Well, I'm actually, mine was two hours and forty minutes because of that ten-minute delay because of the traffic. It's like right. Here. Okay. Want to get food? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I got one more thing I have to do, so I'll just hang out here. Alright. <laughs> We're just gonna hang out here if that's alright with you, Bob. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Could you take another picture of the three of us, Johnny? I just had no surgery. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I'm yeah. not gonna touch it again. So <laughs> oh. obviously I didn't do it right. Yeah. So well I'll I, take I'll take I, a picture of Mary. Well no, and sometimes and my I'll buttons are faulty. I apologize. Yeah. Oh it's fine, don't worry. It's good. Yeah. I thought about, I was going to message you about the article and get an interview with you, but I know you're busy. And, yeah. yeah. And I'm not going to write the book just because I don't have any, because I'm not a good writer. Really. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to sound like a good writer. I, mean, I sound like an arrogant, you know what. But, but you know, I love, I love writing. You know? yeah. I didn't start liking writing until... Hey, it's the kid with the Pokemon shirt I saw so earlier. Kind of nice! Like, <laughs> I was hoping. Are your parents around? Right? <laughs> 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 my dad is. My mom's around here somewhere. I'll be sure. I'm going to say hi to her. Hi, how are you? Good. 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 Yes. Are you filming? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all these people waiting. Come on. Gosh, I finally got to meet him. Like yes. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. I gotta stop saying that. God dang it. All right, Mike Joy. <laughs> Johnny Benson is a NASCAR Winston Cup winner. That's Bestwick, but yeah. I know. <laughs> One of Alex's friends is here. Let me check out who this is. I'm Alex. <laughs> We've had some conversation. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is Evan Shotko. Nice to meet you. This is Mary, co-host of Pastors Podcast. Mm-hmm. Third co-host, Caitlin Benson. We can't find. Oh, she went to go get food. Which we can. Okay. Yeah, she's getting food. Let's call graduate. We ours is on Friday. So. Okay. There's something. But uh, you know, actually, Butch Miller's from your hometown. That you guys. Yep. yep. You race. You race at my first yeah. drive. Oh, there's a female racer here too. Let me go talk to her. <laughs> Uh, he has, yeah, he has a house in the 
Hi. Hello, how are you? Not too bad. Good. Your card? Thank you. You're right, you're welcome. All right, good luck tonight. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> no we love not actually drink here. Would you like I know I messaged you about it. I'm about to set it up. But, uh, All right. Yeah, I'm out of race. This guy looks like he's having fun. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to Johnny now. <laughs> Look at all the people here. This is excellent. Get out of that little one's way. <laughs> This is so fun. I went to the back of the line for Johnny's signature stuff because there's a couple cards that Alex wants me to have him autograph for some reason. So I'm gonna do the respectful thing and uh, get in the back of the line so I don't rage out anybody who was already waiting for a while. And I'm gonna get a selfie with him because <laughs> me and Alex tried to have Johnny's sister take a picture with both of us, but it didn't turn out, so. Aww. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a try. Oh, NBC Sports Gold Track Pass. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we'll try it again. Oh, uh oh. I don't step on it. <laughs> Alex found one of his friends. <laughs> Bunch of little ones running around. Oh, there you are. Yeah. I was looking for you. I was like, where the hell did she go? Yeah, I'm over here. I'm being respectful for everyone else who's been waiting for him, so I got in the back of the line. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get you. I'm, I'm only in line because I want to get a picture with him and a picture of you with him and yeah. stuff like that. But, yeah, we had a. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. I talked to my buddy for a little while over there. Yeah. Shocked Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that one. Let me go say hi to Nick, too. Yeah, which one is that one? 37. Oh, excellent. Barb, it's a nice turnout tonight. Yes. The drive up here was really good. We didn't... So, we got caught up in traffic the last time we were we came up here for Kenny Wallace <laughs> night. There's this car. There was a car parked on the side of the road. Oh, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get over, I just Look at the F1 in that. That's, that's cute. Is. I like that. That's clever. Man, I really wish we were out here racing tonight, but circumstances did permit, man. Uh, eh, that's okay. Hey, I'd much rather have Johnny drive my car than anybody else. <laughs> I did race for NDL for a little while, so. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Steve Pena was my owner last night. Oh, puppy! Hi, hey, puppy. You like dogs, I know that. Yes, I do. <laughs> you haven't seen my dog yet. You've probably seen pictures of her. I might have. They're on my Facebook. Oh, I smell cinnamon stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. the best so food here out of any short track I've ever been to. That makes my mouth water. <laughs> it's probably those. Uh, Mom made snicker the other night. Almond cheese. She's had a vision. Can you believe you met Johnny Benson? <laughs> no, I can't. I can. <laughs> well, because I called him three times. <laughs> Do you know how long it took me to have the realization that we interviewed him on the video call? Yeah. Because I, like, I asked you three times. <laughs> Man, first time we all meet up. I can't believe it. Yeah. All right, now, you said you want me to do this thing. What card do you want me to sign which way? <laughs> to Mary, to Ultimate 23 Dragon. He's not going to sign it as that, but... <laughs> I, I, uh, you want to make a bet? As in what? He does sign it that way. I'll let you take a ride in my race car. Eh, that I'll would let be kind of difficult. I'll let you. I don't let anybody touch her. All right. Yeah, Casey can. I named. I named her Henrietta. <laughs> That'd be kind of difficult. I'm going back to the apartment tonight. <laughs> well, you're not. Ra well, I'm not racing. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> I won the bet. <laughs> yeah, he did one. He, just, I, I told him he's not gonna sign it. It was Ultimate Twenty Three Dragon. So, this is Mary, my co-host. 
Hello? Okay. We're thinking, we were wondering, uh, would you like to be on our podcast? It's called Pass Time. It's a racing podcast. Hey, dude. Message me on Facebook. I will. Yeah. We're doing, <laughs> we're doing something called Grassroots Mode. Okay. We're having a bunch of grassroots guys. My That's buddy over idea. there, Shotgun, he said he'll do it. And uh, we're already on the schedule. You're right. And this Thank you. Great, great turnout tonight. Oh, yeah. here comes those guys again. Good luck. Hi. Hello. <laughs> You got the camera people flying around? What's up with that? I wish. <laughs> I miss you. Let's see who else we can say hi to. Oh, Michael Walsh of Gridwalk style. Come on, let's do this. We're doing Gridwalk. All right, we can do this. <laughs> this is the car that Jeff Triggle's driving. Josh Fry. Josh, how you yes. doing? Good, how are you, buddy? Good. That was really good. <laughs> we're vlogging, we're, we're doing a Michael Hello. Walsh of Gridwalk style. Okay. <laughs> let's see who else we can find. <laughs> All right, let's see. Burgess Chevrolet, that's my sponsor. Yeah. Pete's Pete sponsor. Hey, Alex Wood, driver the number 26 Burger Chevrolet Ford. <laughs> hey, wait, no, Meyer Ford. Okay, right. let me get those guys out of here. Let's see who else we can find. We've got some more people. I mean, for some reason, otherwise I'll show up. This section of the vlog is going to be... We better put this in the next pass. Hello. Hi, how are you? Not too bad. Gold, excellent we're choice. Doing, uh, we're doing a Michael Walter Gearbox thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm assuming you're posting this somewhere? Yeah. Where is it going? YouTube. Okay. YouTube. I'll take one. Oh, yeah. All right, hang on a second. Let me we're, get all this stuff in my podcast. backpack. So, Thank you. Look. Anyway, we're going to continue making our ways down here. Down to YouTube, buddy, out here. That's awesome. We're doing Michael Walter Food right. Rock with another current driver. All right. <laughs> Hello? Some more cars. We're vibing out here. <laughs> See, this is not a good This is awesome. Oh, here's the car I called the imposter car because it's also 21. Timmy Green. Timmy Green. I already did. All right. We already got uh, the Striegelmeister, or as I call him, the Streets. <laughs> um, who else? Mary, who else do you want to go say hi to? Well, this guy for one thing because. <laughs> this guy right here? Huh? Yeah. All right. The, the car looks like a familiar car to me, so. It actually looks like Kurt Busch's old car to me. I had somebody else in mind. Who? So, Eric McClure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. Yes. Yeah, it has the orange, yeah. it has the blue, and it has the 14. Right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, Eric McClure. Good intentions to have a He's a great driver. All right, where else do you want to go? <laughs> uh oh. Well, let's just go up and down, uh, back and forth, and all that stuff. Come on, you can do it. Good. Thank you. Well, that pretty much wraps up for the gridwalk. Well, this part, because we still have the back row in case you want to go that way. All right. Well, I think we already said hi to. Sh Did you get Shaq on the vlog? Right. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Good. Hi. How are you? I like the shirt. Thank you. <laughs> he made a comment about it. And it's stuff, yeah. We're doing a Michael Walter gridwalk thing. <laughs> okay. So if we could say something to our vlog. Hi. Like that. Like just you could just say hi to him. Just a grid walk. So. Hi. Hi. I, I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, you can introduce further. yourself, maybe. Uh, my name is Eric Cold Center. I'm a driver of the number 22 limited weight model at Berlin Racer. Thank you, Thank Alex you Wood, co-host co of the Past Times Podcast. Thank you, Mary. Mary, I'm not gonna say your last name. No, uh, no, nobody here knows my last name. It's fine. Except Caitlin. <laughs> don't worry about that. And Johnny. <laughs> and Barb. <laughs> and me. And what, you. What podcast is it? It's called Pastimes Podcast. Okay. You can look us up on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Spotify. Yep, yep. Um, what else are we on? Any, anywhere where you get your podcasts. Okay. Just uh, I definitely use Spotify for most of my You can look up uh, Pastimes Podcast. Um, we'll have an episode of Johnny Gunson on, so you can take a look at that. Okay. Thank you very much. Right, thank you. Guys. All it's right. also up on my channel. What, ch what channel is it's that? It's called Ultimate 23 Dragon. Ultimate 20. Okay. We'll do. Thank you it shouldn't be too hard to find. Johnny's all over it. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's let's check out the back of the group now. All right. Let me get this in my backpack. <laughs> they should wait for wheelchairs. The, the, <laughs> oh, hang on. Let's get all these guys away. Uh, who else you want to go see? Give oh. one last glimpse of that man right there. <laughs> What a stud. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, wait. Those guys are coming. Let's go down this way. All right. Want to go say hi to Caitlin and try to find her? Well, we could. We haven't gotten to the back of the uh, okay, we'll outside go, lane. We can, go, we can go meet. Oh, there's a puppy. I found the puppy again. Hello, puppy. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm yeah. <laughs> Probably likes the camera crew. Oh, wait. This is a. We're away for this Oh, father daughter team. That's nice. Mike and Chrissy Wallace. We don't discuss that. <laughs> Chrissy was. Eh. No, Chrissy was. <laughs> Which doesn't want to rage out against Steve Wallace. Like, Christy was... Chrissy. No. That's Chrissy. I, that's what I said. You said Christy. I did not say Christy. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes, you did. Did not. Did. <laughs> I was hoping we could see Judy. Oh, we could say hi to... We could go say hi to Barb. Is she... Well, she's been in the vlog. Has she been on the grid walk yet? On the grid walk, yeah, though. Yeah, let's go say hi to her while we wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like the way this paint scheme looks. Oh, yeah. It's number 20 right Keep here. Keep this car. We're doing a Michael Walter grid walk thing for YouTube. <laughs> so introduce yourself. Tell us what car this is. I'm Austin Hall. I run the uh, number 20 super late model. It's our first year in it, so. Nice. Still trying to figure stuff out. All right. All right. right now that shotgun's not busy, let's go say hi to him. I love that paint scheme. Thank you. So do I. Purple is my color, and there's a puppy on it. <laughs> hey, Shaco, can you say hi to our uh, grid walk? There's our friend again. Hello. Hey, Shaco, buddy of mine. Mm -hmm. Got anything you want to say? Oh, really? <laughs> I have math with him. He's got Evan Shaco, man, no words. Now, is it S H O T? However, is it S H or S Z? Uh, S S H for racing and Z. We okay. do a S H so they can pronounce it. Okay. What What's the original last name? S C. What's the origin, like country of origin? Oh, uh, Polish. Okay. Okay. I'm part Polish. Yeah. Born in Russia though. Oh, okay. adopted. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Hey, puppy. But anyway, we're gonna go say hi to Barb. So thanks for being <laughs> our. Good luck. Good luck. That's the third time I've said that to you. A lot more people still Here's here for Johnny. This is Barb Benson, Johnny's sister. We're doing a grid walk thing oh, okay. for YouTube. So <laughs> you don't, if you don't want to be in it, you don't have to. No. Just. Yeah, just let me know and I can just cut it out. It's I don't want any pictures taken of my nose. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's okay. That's no. fine. But anyway, this has been the grid walk here at Berlin Raceway. <laughs> um. Yay. I'll send you the video. The guy who runs the place is helping with the barbecue Thank stuff. You. That is so cool. I would say you too, but you're already having fun. <laughs> we should get my dad down here. Maybe he can do some drilling. Well, I'll see. Well, you already met my dad. Yes, I did. <laughs> Until you're over this, I'm probably going to stand here. What do you mean? Until you just calm down. I'm I, I am calm. I'm just smiling a lot. <laughs> You don't see me jumping all over the place, do you? <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm 30, not 13. <laughs> it's Johnny Benson, not Justin Bieber. Yeah. Yes, very true. Very, very Their true. The initials are the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I got to get my dad down here to have Striegel Grill. <laughs> I gotta get a uh, Berlin Raceway t shirt. Huh? I gotta get a Berlin Raceway t shirt. Yeah, where is the merch area? Do you know? Down there. I haven't gone that way yet, so I'll have to go hold there now and see what they got. Alright, well, let's actually go down there. I didn't go there last time I was there. Okay. Dude, I am jealous of your hat. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yes. She, she's a, her YouTube channel name is Ultimate 23 Dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My late Uncle Howard, his favorite driver is Jeff Burton. He also has a connection to X-Side. Oh, yeah. This guy used to live right up the street from us. Really? Yeah. Lucky. My dad did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hopefully we win this. Uh, yeah, I have heard about this. It's not just a wrestling thing. We, uh... <laughs> 
I think we got a pretty good car. Um, get my face in this. Uh, I think we got a pretty good car. Uh, number 71, Napa Vogue Chevrolet is doing really good. Uh, I want to thank Napa Vogue in Grand Rapids, <laughs> Michigan, B Burger Chevrolet, uh, Myers, Myers in Grand Rapids, um, Kepner's Precision Auto Body in Benton Harbor, um, Promo for a Brake Shop in Benton Harbor, and Mose in St. Joe. You guys are awesome. Uh, who else should I thank? Well, Chevrolet, even though they don't know who the hell I am. <laughs> Jeff Striegel. Yeah. Striegel's back in the area. He's an awesome man. Um, yep. Yeah, this is Alex Wood, 3 and 1 3rd, signing out. I'm not from the 3 and 1 3rd. I'm from the 269. <laughs> Oh, look who I found today. I found Alex Wood. You found me three times. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I found you this time, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you expecting out of tonight's event? Oh, we're doing pre oh, pretty good. You know, I'm not racing, so, uh, so now I'm expecting that 21 car to be pretty fast. Way, we're <laughs> so pretty good in practice. <laughs> well, Jeff Striegel, he's pretty confident. Mm -hmm. Got to meet the third member of Pastimes as well. Yes, we did. Out here on and her the sister. Track. Got to meet the man yes. himself, got to meet the entire Benson family except mom and uh, <laughs> That's what we, could, what we say up here. Mary's not from the Midwest, but uh, I'm standing <laughs> on stage right now. We're gonna get off some some season. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, I'm expecting a pretty good race. Uh, you know, like I said, not not racing, but uh, you know, they just qualified me last night. Really? Yeah, we had a illegal spring rubber. A illegal spring rubber, huh? We had too much geometry in the front of the car, so. That doesn't make a lick of sense. There was too much geometry in the front of the car. I'm just like, you fucking kidding me. I, I literally was arguing with the official. I was pissed. Alex Wood, pissed, race car. I, I mean, I love, I love my job, love being a race, <laughs> I love being a racing driver, but God damn, I'll tell you what. Man. <laughs> Why are they showing the truck race? Uh, they sh we should be looking up who won the Xfinity race. When I left, uh, Hemrick crashed, actually. Oh, dear. Yeah. But uh, anyway. As long as nothing like Since yesterday with Sauter and Hutchins happened again, then up. we're fine. Oh, yeah. Seatbelts on, yeah. steering wheels I, in place. I want to, I hate Johnny Sauter. And Johnny Sauter's one of my guys. It, but I was genuinely concerned for bank. him. Everyone that. was, even the anti solder people. Tonight, uh, well, Twitter just the the exploded. I noticed. Anyway, uh, Derek Griffith from New Hampshire, Stephen yeah. Nassi from Florida. <laughs>
Then the 22 and uh, you know what, first thing I, I was asked, what does this mean to you? And I says, more well, words can describe how to cry down the back stretch, but uh, hopefully I was over that. And uh, God had a plan, and uh, that's what happened. Next row. Yeah, you said that wasn't planned, but those words sound familiar to me. <laughs> yeah, they do. And uh, shockingly, that, that night, I think, I think it was 23 that night. Was it 23? I have driven 23. I have driven 23, 26. Six, that's my dirt number, 71. Oh, let's help show everybody what I did. So, I signed my own fitness spinner in the autograph page. It is Billy Epping, Billy Epping in the car. Hope we got a great, but uh, I was supposed to race tonight, but uh, we had a great race. We had a good car, but uh, they decided to let him race, then somebody else. <laughs> Which I'm glad they let him race because he can drive a lot better than I can. But uh, I'll tell you, that's what, true. I, know, I know you got another question. How is Berlin drives? Yes. I assume it's much different than the tracks I've been to. Oh yeah, Berlin's a lot different. Well, you're a dirt track person. You know Saluda. I, I have done Saluda. I've done uh, Volusia. I did Volusia. Hartford oh. Thunder Chicken. Um, <laughs> yeah. What else have I done? I, I, well, M40. Kalamazoo. It's Tim. But uh, yeah, boss. Berlin doesn't Tim drive like I have a car number twelve. Like you got Kalamazoo, that's like a that's a whole Berlin's a perfect circle. The engine yep. yep. so Chevrolet, it's tough, you know, passing He's stuff here. Get you know, on iRacing, racing, it I'll be a lot Josh happier. Fry, Josh Fry, <laughs> in Oh, he's popular. Another team row up there with yeah, he is. Car. Race against him. Hamilton, the Metalux Wire Company, Shulga Chiropractic Center. He's tied for the points. <laughs> the 37, Nick DeLongpre. Nick DeLongpre in the 37. Okay. Alongside his team car, ah. number 21. From North Carolina, the Wire Company, <laughs> Metalux HD5. It's Johnny. Benson, Jr. Yeah! In the 21 car. <laughs> What's your home so, let, let him know you hear him, Grand Rapids. Anyway, <laughs> this is not St. Joe. No, it's not. It is Dick Anderson. Well, you, well, you didn't drive through that area. No, I did. Johnny probably did. Alongside the hey. five from Zealand. The and a pizza had commercial for no reason. Okay. Sales and repair <laughs> and West yeah, but, uh, I like your first Berlin. Let me interview you. Look, all right. Dave Hart. So, are you enjoying your first Berlin experience, Mary? Yes. What's been your favorite part? From Walker, the Cascade on the Motor, Greenville Go Motorsports. <laughs> yeah, so do I. But uh, meeting Jeff Striegel. That was fun too. Meeting Caitlin. That was cool. I actually you told me that. Well, I told you that she and I had plans to meet up. Yeah. But then you decided to spoil the plan, so we did our first pastimes meet up. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of Johnny? Oh, he's everything. What did you expect out of him? Hang on, they're just getting, making sure there's something on the lineup they're taking a look at. We'll be just a <laughs> okay. here. Okay, what do you think of Johnny as a guy? Oh, so oh he's awesome. Stone, so Was we'll he what you expected? Just a second yes. here so we get everything straight. Well, I got to shake his hand. <laughs> and I got to have a picture with him. So did I. <laughs> did you take that picture yet? Or did you, you didn't send it yet because you get shitty Wi-Fi out here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to surprise the Twitterverse with that one. They don't know I'm here either. <laughs> Uh-oh, watch out. Oh, shit. Is, it, is it a bee? Yep, it's a bee. I'm allergic to bees. God damn it. Shoot. Fuck. Good. Okay, Mary versus a bee. We're getting this live on television. Wait, we're not. We're not live streaming. We're not live streaming. Cut. Anyway, um, so. I beat the bee. It's gone. So now you've got a NASCAR baker's dozen now. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I do. Uh, so, you got to meet two of your guys now. <laughs> Both their autographs. Keep the, keep the oh, autograph. you mean that? Yep. Because I've actually met a third of the NASCAR dozen, if you want to go that route. Because the first I ever met was Kenny Wallace, and that's how he got into the NASCAR dozen. Oh, Funny Bone. Yes. That's his and today's Dan well, Martin Day. For him. Yes, it is. You know, that's... I, I hope that can bring some magic. <laughs> the last two years. He's helped a lot of us young racers try and uh, keep our I'm scooting over this way. He's an open book of knowledge. He's a great mentor. Hell of a race car driver. Just trying to, you know, crowd him down as what little bit you can to uh, not make contact and race him hard. And I knew we had a better car. We just couldn't get up there as fast as he was. And, uh, feels good to get the monkey off my back. The ownership, the sponsors, it's a... Uh, 
It's been a long time coming, and I think we've uh, had some good runs, and I wanted to find you <laughs> O'Reilly. I didn't know where you've been hiding all this time. <laughs> I'm easy. I'm small. It's easy to miss me, you know? It's, <laughs> it's one of those things that you, uh, you've been here before. You never know when your next one's coming. And when this yeah, took, I didn't think uh, it was that way. It's this way. 15 races. Let's go this I way. I wasn't doubting myself. I wasn't doubting my team, but it's just like, what's next? Is there ever going to be a chance for us to just put it all together, <laughs> have a good run, Thank engine for all Oh, there we go. That's better. GM Parks now. Grand Rapids, Pinball, the old host. Josh Fry won. My crew, the fans, Norm and Jeff. And most of all, um, we lost about 20 close loved ones. So, uh, hey. And yep. uh, celebrate a victory when you get it because you don't know when your next one's going to be here. What Very true. One coming up a little later. What do you got left in the car? Uh, I'll give it my all. I will uh, do my best to. Uh, Make the car just a little bit better. I get real tight towards the end, and uh, I think Johnny's car just started to fade enough that it gave me hope, and that drove <laughs> me. But in the next one to regroup, do 25 more. Uh, been named Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always first class with Josh Fry down here in Auto Value Celebration Zone. Hold on, race. Good duel. Put your hands together. That was a good Josh duel. Play it, everybody. In the, uh, it is a, a good win for. Him and the group and they that was a good duel. There's nobody out there that does more. He's one of those guys too that throws his knowledge around and helping drivers coming up that are in the ranks and doing it his way. So it's kind of fun. Yeah. Well, you see the That's force the division popping up on yep. the front stretch. A whole bunch of them, and they're a lot of fun to watch. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to try and go towards the top here so I get a better view of the track for all of y'all. Yep. <laughs> Wait a minute. From Grand Rapids, this town home improvement, Cheers Bar, it's Dave Marshall. Dave Marshall, number 42. Next to him. Guy. From Grand Rapids, the 60 Joe was the 50 and pronounced his name wrong. Kinsley Auto Repair. <laughs> it's number 88, Luke Gilhood. Ah. Next to up, number 10. Driving number, number 87 car. <laughs> From Ada, Spend Med, Gilhood Family Foundation, Miller Johnson's attorney. It's Kevin Gilhood. Okay. Driving the number 41 car. All the way from Coopersville. Oh, wow. Oh, Don McNabb. Don McNabb driving the number 47 car. Don McNabb, okay. Next up, driving the number 19. 19 from Kent City. Michigan Mobile Service will be Dave Avick. Dave Avick driving the number 19 car. Driving the number 21 car. From Conklin, the Six Mile Auto Advanced Towing System vehicle. It's Alicia Schneider. All right. Chase Roloff, driving the number 23 car. Um, are we repeating the same Andrea thing from earlier? Front row. Driving the number 25 car. It's Corey Essing. Corey Essing. And on the pole, driving the number 17 car. Ed Cohen, MTD Trucking from Cedar Springs. It's Dennis Hoslander. Ah. There you go. Oh, he's popular. All right, Tony, we're all set if you are. Let's go ahead and get those things started up. Get this road race going. All right. Hopefully the racing is better than the guys doing driver intros. Let's get in. Race fans, who's going to be your favorite show out there? Let's take time to Series logo on it. Makes me wonder if that's a 60 here. truck from the past or if that's just the number change. Could be the 17. 
All right, let's do it. And the 25 did not get a good start at all. than that red flag all right 38 is good to go So they're getting ready to get the car off, so I guess the driver's fine. That's good.
here in an Auto Value Celebration Zone at Berlin Raceway. Yay! Oh my god, I went to get a drink during a break in the action, and what's playing? Don't Stop Believing by Journey. This song has haunted me since high school prom, and I went to school in Virginia. Doesn't mean I won't. <laughs> right. Oh, well, I had him with the samurai sword, not, and you're not going to not get Randy Jackson's autograph, right? <laughs> yeah, you got a one-of-a-kind item, the Randy Jackson samurai sword. All right, let's get this on the log. You're, yeah. You recording? Yeah. Show, show the audience what you just showed me. Okay, follow me. Cause yeah, because he's in line. Okay. I got so, my drink, so. What'd you get? A Pepsi. Jeff Gordon. <laughs> well, yeah, that's all they had, so. 1997. 2015. Anyway, so that's okay. When you come, when you're a NASCAR fan, yes. and you bump into you know your favorite driver, or in my case, your favorite commentator, or whatever, you got to <laughs> get their autograph. Yes. I didn't have anything for, for Jeff Street. Well, I bumped into Jeff. Yes. So we went into the bar. Oh. And because uh, we, and you know, I got this ticket signed by Johnny. Yes. But then I got it signed by Jeff. That's one of a kind. He didn't commentate this race, but we discussed it on past times. Link in the yes, description. I'll be sure to remember that. <laughs> I'll send it. I'll send it to <laughs> But uh, yeah, you can even see it, November third, two thousand two. Yes. I'm pretty sure I was three weeks old. Yes. <laughs> Based on I what was I heard. From Russia. Wow, that's right. <laughs> you did say me. When did I come here? Ah, uh, when you were three years old. No. That's eight huh? months. Oh, I thought I was three. Eh, oh well. Eight. So I guess you're getting some kind of candy. No, I'm getting lemonade. Though. Eh, all right. Shit, what? Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, my drink was three, so. Well, they didn't rip you off like they ripped Jared off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Coda. That's kind of different. True. Show them. Did, did you show them what I did to your bag? Not yet. <laughs> so explain to the lovely viewers what I did. Alex had the idea that I should get his autograph as well, so I didn't have anything regarding him, so he signed my backpack. I've signed worse. The backpack that I bought literally last week. <laughs> oh, I vandalized it? Oops, sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, now I need to get James Ince to sign that ticket and Jay Fry. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, but who knows what the hell James Ince is doing these days. That's a good point. I don't think he's with IndyCar anymore, is he? I said James Ince. I'm talking about it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it looks like the action's getting restarted, so I'll catch you later. Alright, see ya. Are you gonna film me getting on the Monday? Well, the camera didn't stop, so I guess I have to. <laughs> okay, so apparently I'm, I'm gonna be filming getting the lemonade. I'm gonna, and I'm going to give you guys a review, uh, Destroyer H6 food reviews. <laughs> Formerly Destroyer H6, not anymore, because I deleted my channel for obvious reasons. Eh. Not really obvious reasons. Between you and I, obvious reasons. Yeah. Right. Can I get one? Absolutely. Yes. Five dollars. Here we go. I'm going to review it, too. <laughs> Be sure to send Striegel the review. <laughs> well, he's he's going to be in the video. Well, yeah. That was kind of the plan. <laughs> I'm going to tell my dad that I got the tickets on my two weeks. All right, you want to do the review now or afterward? I know. Since, since I got you right here. That's true. This is clearly not MIS. This is better food than MIS. <laughs> At least in my opinion. I mean, I'm, from the, I'm from the St. Joe Bend Harbor area. So we have kind of the same thing. Okay. All right, thank you. All right. Okay, let's go over here. All right. Okay, so. Let's see what's in play now. Okay, so it's zero to 10. I can go 4.8. I do. You know, Barstool reviews. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, Berlin Raceway, fresh squeezed lemonade. One sip, everybody knows the rules. Wow. Uh-huh. Wow. That's all I gotta say. 
It's crisp. Okay. A little tangy. I like it. As expected. Uh, I don't got a score yet. <laughs> Should I cuss like the Barstool Sports guy? No. Like it's fine on my channel, so, but. It's on your channel. Does this go on your channel or past times? Well, this is for me. Okay. I, th I thought your stuff was on past times. No, I want this video on past times as well, if that's okay with you. I'll download it and upload it. I'll add my footage in too. Well, I guess we could do that. Okay. I got a score. All right. I'll tell you what, I'll do my version on my channel and then we'll use most of this footage for pastimes. I'll just add in my footage to yours. Oh, collab, that's a good idea. And we'll put that on pastimes. Anyway, all right, <laughs> one more second, I got a score. Okay, I got it. Okay. 8 1. Okay. 8 1. Mm hmm. So, that's pretty good. Yep. Let's uh, get your Pepsi review now. <laughs> It's a Pepsi. I took off the label because that's my tradition, so people know the difference between my drinks and others. That's what I used to do when I was growing up. I do that today. But to say they better not play that song here. Big whiskey bonded it. Here me home to see my kids. <laughs> It's Solid different. nine. Okay. Solid nine. Well, that's Pepsi. That's what to be expected. Uh, you do know that Sweet Home Alabama is one of my favorite songs. It's one of my mom's favorite songs too, and she's the reason I hate it. <laughs> yeah, but the reason. Oh, there's Barb. Yep. I'm gonna go tell her what I did. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you mean? Oh, the ticket. Yeah. Eh, all right. I'm gonna make sure to have it out this time. <laughs> Let's get a good view of it here. Yep. Jeff attempted to sign it with a pen. <laughs> then we went to the bar, got a marker. I'm really not out. Here she comes. Oh. <laughs> Alex is showing off the fact that he got Striegel and JB to sign the ticket. I'll post it in the group chat. Just, I'll, I'll post all pictures on the group chat. So. Yeah. Would you like me to send you a picture? Any, would you to send you a picture for that? Can they? Yeah. I'll, I'll have to give it to you tomorrow morning. Uh, All right. And now, All back right. to... Nice meeting you. All right. I don't feel like going back. I only got a buck left. And I want to get a SpongeBob ice cream. Well, that's up to you. Well, I got to ask my dad for more money. I can't help you on that one. I'm not going to give you... I'm not going to ask you to borrow money. Well, all I got left is 20, so I can't help you there either. If I brought my wallet, I'd probably have like $100 in it. That's what I started with. Okay. It's 
Okay, let's try that again. Sorry if I flipped y'all out with that no from earlier. Let's not do that again. Let's excel synchro, let's go.
done before. It's got to feel pretty good for a part-time guy to come out here and uh, take on the talent you did. Come out with a win. Yep. Yeah, it feels great. Um, hats off to Brian, Henry Fellows, Henry Rosendell. Um, I couldn't do it without these guys. Thank you to my wife. She's working up in the suites. This one is most of them. I got two kids here watching. I ain't been in a car in like four years. Um, I love it. It's great to see all the fans coming out here. I appreciate that. Thank you. Curious, talk about these emotions. Does this make you want to come back and do this more and more? Or is this just going to be something you uh, kind of make a pastime of? <laughs> yeah, uh, getting away on the first night uh, definitely makes me want to come back for more. Well, I think you're in the right family to do it. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Tyler Rising in that number four. Put your hands together. It's Auto Value Celebration Zone down here at Berlin Raceway. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was a good race. These guys are back, and what the heck is that guy doing? <laughs>
from, but he came out like he was shot out of a canyon. Corey Hoselander coming out of the front stretch here. Woohoo! A lot, of, a lot of power underneath that hood tonight. Where did that 949 come from? Catching for a little bit there. <laughs> but the number well, one is. one from the start. Lane. Excellent. Getting rid of all our safety gear. Woo! <laughs> All right. Fun. <laughs> All right. Let's have you. Getting ready to get out of this car here. Get my finger readjusted there. Ouch. All right, let's see what number one has to say. <laughs> there you go. Let's give him a big round of applause. Corey Hoselander. Always interesting to find out who's more relaxed at the end of the race, you or mom? <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> Talk about the first race earlier tonight with the uh, the big wreck there and everything like that. What was your viewpoint of that? I don't know exactly what happened coming into that. I mean, I came out of four and they're stopped. It's a parking lot here on the front stretch and I just, yeah. all I could do to keep from being put myself in the wall and locking the brakes up. Yep. So. I don't know what happened, so. Race number two, you get out there, you've got a three-car freight train going around this place. Did you know they were back there and the pressure they were kind of putting on you? Oh, I knew they were back there. I could feel Justin every couple laps. I could feel him kind of touch me and let me know he was there. So I got to give thanks to Justin for running me as clean as he did there. Well, it's another Holtzlander win. It's another trophy up on the mantle at home and another breath of fresh air for mom because she's going to get a chance to take a, uh, she, you know, honestly, the, the nerves up here on the yeah, you too, huh? Oh, I'm very nervous right now. I mean, this car has been, we've been struggling very much with this car. I have to thank Brian Carson especially for all the work he's put into this these past few weeks with us. So I got to say thank you to him. Thank you to my parents, mom, dad, Brian, my brother, Nick. And everybody else that comes out here, watches the crew, the uh, fans, the, everybody here at the track, and everybody else out there. Well, I know that Brian Carson character. Be careful whose name you're dropping around here, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to Corey Holtzlander down here at Auto Value Celebration Zone. Hey. We're free to go. They stuck up on us. <laughs> It was definitely a lot of fun to race. Hate that's that last caution, but um, yeah. it is what it is. You had a good time. Fun watching you come from the back to the front. Had to be fun for you. What's it feel like getting back in the seat? Does it give you a little bit of the itch? <laughs> I don't know about that, but it was. <laughs> say it's fun, and I, I know my way around here at least. Mm -hmm. I did adapt to the different style engines, stuff like that. That was. Uh, a challenge in the beginning, but I felt like I got pretty good at it once we were. You had some good laps yesterday when we practiced, and mm -hmm. you backed it up with the way that you raced down here. Um, you sure look good. Nobody would question that. You're running against some good competition out here, as you know, because at one time you were that competition here. <laughs> yeah, probably getting a little too old to go this fast, probably, right? <laughs> at least with the other cars. But uh, no, I mean, it's cool. uh, I have to introduce you to John Force then. Appreciate everybody here, brother, and race fan, for doing that. And for all the fans coming here and enjoying the weekend, that, that's pretty awesome. Well, Thank you, know, you. I follow you on Facebook. <laughs> so, you know, I know that you're gone for four days. Johnny now has goats down on the farm. Now, who takes care of the farm? Really? Here? That's gonna be a problem. Yeah, now the goats take care of it. That's why I got them. <laughs> They're the oh. all the kudzu and all the weeds and woods and all that's got pretty bad down here in North Carolina with a kudzu. So. <laughs> He has a ton of fun. You can see by it if you follow him, but uh, a lot of fun. And we want to thank you for coming up here and uh, doing it. Nick DeLombre gave you a heck of a ride. Tim was there. Yep. Many helping you out. And uh, I know that you had a lot of fun. Oh, I did. And I'd like to say a really big thanks to the guys that work on the car and kind of dinged it up a little bit. But they, <laughs> I don't know if they're mad or not. I don't think so. They were having a good time. But they said that was a little rough around from what Kenny was. <laughs> You're never, you're never classified as a rough driver either. So no. coming back up here to see something like that, you know, you still got it. Yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, it was a lot of fun. And it just, uh, it might have got two guys, but I think they ran into a little bit of a problem. And then they did. With trying to keep the momentum up, all of a sudden you're, you're, you're get trapped pretty fast. So, it, uh, but like I say, had a great time. There he is. His fans, all the way up from North Carolina, how about putting your hands together? Johnny Benson Jr. down here. <laughs> That's nice. Great guy, great family. We have so much fun with Giants. Just crazy. <laughs> so. You saw the series that Johnny was in? 
You saw the four-cylinder guys? Now here's the main event. Let's duel.
knew how to do that on my phone, I would, but I can. <laughs> All right, 57 on the 101 having a good battle. 82 is just scooting away. thankful when I needed a little bit extra, when I needed to dig deep, when I had to go to the throttle early, you know, for, for just a short period of time, the car would stick and complete those passes. So I, uh, it was a lot of fun to drive tonight. You punch your ticket for the money in the bank, you're taking high gear. I mean, you're not taking home jump change tonight either. It was a big race for you tonight. Talk about what that means getting into the money in the bank race coming up in a couple of weeks. Yeah, the, the money means more to me than anything, right? <laughs> I saw well, like, call money in the bank, right? On this car. <laughs> now I own it. And, uh, you know, but what a cool night. My Uncle Jack was here tonight, so. Oh, nice. I'm glad I was able to win in front of him. We got the, all hey. the Bensons are here, the whole family. Happy that, <laughs> you know, they were able to see us run this good. They've been a pivotal part of this race team, you know, on mine for. I can tell for by the color scheme. Now, so, uh, this is really <laughs> cool to get it done tonight. Hey, you got a big, uh, tall blonde over here waiting to talk, talk to you a little bit, too. I wonder if I get out of your way and let that go on. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Wait, I'm not down there. Down here at Mary, how was your experience here at Berlin Raceway? I love it. What was your favorite part? Outside of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really enjoyed the racing. I'm glad we had some nice and safe racing. And you got to meet, and we all got to meet for the first time. <laughs> Yes, we got to meet Johnny Benson. I'm so happy about that. And Barb Benson. Yes. And Michaela Benson. Yes. And, of course, our friend, Caitlin Benson. That's right. A.K.A. Caitlin Benson. <laughs> That's a new what is them. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ty gives one to the Arca race. Oh, 
Did, do you know who? Harker Rice. They had the Harker Rice going. Well, he also won the Xfinity race. Oh, he won the Xfinity race? Yes. I was checking on Twitter during the break. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, I gotta show you something else. Are you kidding? Ty Gibbs won. I'm not joking. I gotta show you something else. I really like this. All right, sh show the viewers as well. All right, not that. <laughs> you no, still have that going? No, I went too far in the tweet thing. I gotta show you this once I find it. Did you post the picture on Twitter? Not yet. All right, so this tweet came up. Look closely. <laughs> that's that's us. <laughs> oh shit! I can't believe that. Hey, I'm gonna be famous on Twitter. Send me that picture, please. I will. <laughs> <That's> <laughs>
The first one was this one that he wanted signed as to Mary. That's my real name. So, of course, Johnny did that. The second one, I don't know why Alex thought this would work. He wanted Johnny to autograph this as to Ultimate 23 Dragon, my YouTube name. I knew for a fact Johnny was not going to do that, and I was right. <laughs> but I do appreciate the signature regardless. Now, what was the item that I brought? Well, there's a backstory to this particular item. And, of course, it's a picture, so, of course, I got it framed. So, here's the picture in question. This is a picture I had received, or actually had my dad buy for me, on May 3rd, 2002. And the reason I remember the day is because this picture was actually a panic buy. Why was it a panic buy? Because May 3rd, 2002 is the day where Brian Vickers broke Johnny's ribs in the bush race at the Richmond race I went to. I am not making that up. You see, what happened was, is that initially I got two different sorts of Benson merch that day. A hat that I no longer have because a so-called friend broke, broke the base of it in the back. And the t-shirt that you saw me wearing. Yes, that t-shirt. <laughs> so, we watched the bush race, and Johnny was actually going through the field, and then Brian Vickers wrecked him and injured his ribs. Now, after the Tabarang caution, the fan behind me hears a report that Johnny's going to the hospital for potential broken ribs. He sees my merch, decides to tap me on the shoulder, and tell me that. I'm 11 years old. I don't know that much about the human body yet. And here's how over-worrying and over-pessimistic that I've come to know today I was even back then. I had no idea what ribs were at that point. I convinced myself that ribs were vertebrae. So after the race was done and over with, we went back to the merch hauler and I forced my dad to panic buy this picture for six bucks. <laughs> and 19 years later, we come full circle. I met Johnny in person and had him personally autograph this for me. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, even though my flag is one of my biggest treasures in relation to my Benson items, that picture is now the biggest treasure. Not because of the backstory, but because Johnny personally autographed it for me. And there's not many things in the racing world that are more thrilling than having your driver personally autograph something for you. And this is definitely one thing I will always treasure. <laughs> so that's it in terms of the goodies that I received and this event was so amazing and so awesome for me and I'm glad I decided to go and surprise my friends and finally meet Johnny in person you thought that the interview on the video call that we did for the Pastimes podcast was huge for me <laughs> meeting him in person is definitely one of the biggest thrills of my life <laughs> Being a fan of his for 20 years, that's, that's how awesome that moment was for me. And I'm so glad I decided to have this racing adventure. And it's honestly one event that I will always remember for the rest of my life. You guys have no idea how huge this night was for me. This night was very special for me for a variety of reasons. And not just the ahem obvious one. I feel like that was the type of night and event that I needed. It was like it filled a void that's been missing for a long while because of me racing-wise watching mainly mostly NASCAR. Even though I literally knew only one driver at this entire thing, at this event I was with people I could relate to, people I could talk with about my interest and my favorites, people who could understand me, and I actually enjoyed the racing. No gimmicks, no phony baloney, no controversies, no nothing. Sure, there was a minor scare in my book, but considering the previous night and the fact it's me, what can you say? The racing itself was amazing. I felt excited and happy regarding that as well. I felt like I really had a lot of fun. Even outside of the race in the day was very memorable. I managed to surprise my friends and hang out with them. I enjoyed some good food. I got to meet Jeff Striegel and that was awesome. 
I met other Johnny Benson fans that I associate with on a fan page somewhere on the internet. I got to meet members of Johnny's family, including one who's a friend of mine. And I finally got to meet Johnny himself. That was a huge deal for me. You can easily tell I was excited and nervous to meet him in person. He said it right for us. Hey, Johnny. What's going on? This is Alice. <laughs> you remember Mary? Hi! Hey, how are you? <laughs> Not too... <laughs> yes, I actually accidentally said the name of a Pokemon because I actually got starstruck by Johnny's presence and him asking me a question. <sighs> anyway, I had a lot of great laughs too, as you can tell. Among all the funny moments, the funniest, far and away, was when Alex wanted me to take a picture of him next to Johnny's car. I intentionally had Johnny in the shot, but then when I focused on having Alex fully in the picture, when I took the picture, Johnny photobombed him! <laughs> and because of the angle of the sun on my phone when I took the picture, I didn't notice until Alex and I both saw the picture! <laughs> Thanks, Johnny! For the record, he nearly got me too, but Alex was quick with my camera. <laughs> This was one of the best days I've had in such a long time, and probably ever. Everything I wanted to do at Berlin Raceway that day, I did, and then some. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog, because I sure as heck enjoyed that entire day. May 29th, 2021 is a day I will never forget. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Ultimate 23 Dragon, and that's my final answer. Hey Johnny, can you say something for the vlog? <laughs> you can just say hello. <laughs> I say hi too. Yeah. Yes, it is recording. Excellent. Thank the Lord.